What is going on my beautiful people? Today we have a much requested face off featuring Big and J long range attractants, the legit true natural brand. Um, this one right here. And we have some Primo's Takeout Fall Harvest Deer Attractant. It's supposed to have dried grains, molasses, and chopped up corn. So hopefully these two products will bring in some big deer for us to be able to shoot from in front of the Primo's trail camera, which will be watching it, and my deer stand right over here on this tree. So we're going to get these two set up, and uh, we will see just which one of these the deer like better. So there is what the Primo's stuff looks like. You can see the chunks of corn. You can smell that it's sweet like molasses. We're going to take, and we're going to set it up right here in the road, and we're just going to make a pile of it. Like that, it really looks like dried up grain and corn. So it looks like what it says it is. Next up, we have the Big and J, and it says Big and J legit is a true mineral product, not glorified salt. Like all Big and J products, legit has a powerful aroma that will attract deer from further away. And if you look at it, it does look like actual mineral-based products. Um, kind of ground up. It's got a lot of little granules in there. Um, as you can see, so we're going to take this and we're going to set it right here in a pile right beside of the fall harvest. And that way we'll see which one the deer like better. So once again, we have the Primo's takeout, and as you can see, the corn grain, all of that nice and mixed up, and then this is the Big and J legit. So in about two weeks time, after this camera does the dirty work for us and lets us know what's coming to it, we'll be able to tell which one of these two products works better. Um, they've been requested a lot on the channel, and I'm finally getting around to making that video, so hopefully you guys will like it, and uh, we'll be able to get some pictures of some pretty big deer. All right, everybody, we are back to go through the trail camera pictures after one week with the Big NJ's Legit brand and the Primo's Fall Harvest uh, Takeout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it just like always. We're going to go through these trail camera pictures. I'm going to count all the deer that come to each pile, and we'll see which one works better. Um, I have a notepad here that I will be filling out as I go through to count out the deer here's actually last time and uh, we are gonna get these added up so we're gonna start right off the bat I usually will show the first picture I'll show a couple of the does that we have and uh, other than that I'll show you guys any big bucks or anything like that like always I won't show every deer picture because we would be here for hours I think after a week we had 244 pictures to go through so we're going to go ahead and get started and we'll see just how many deer came to each pile and which one they like better. Hopefully this will let you guys know kind of what products to pick, which ones work better than others. And if you haven't seen any of my other face-off videos, go check those out. We'll have some surprising results. And that way you all will gain the knowledge of which one of those products that you see in the big box stores, which one of these works the best for the deer in my area, which is uh, south to middle Georgia area and during what time of the year those work better. So with that being stated, um, we're going to go ahead and jump into these pictures. So here I am putting it out. It's a nice picture of me here. So I'll put them out on the 18th and that night there's actually looks like a doe walking through and she comes up to the Primo's Fall Harvest. So that's pretty interesting. Now I'm really not sure what this is, but it kind of looks like a cat. I wonder if this thing's going to go to either one of these piles. No, it didn't. We got two does coming in. The first one actually walks up to the um, Big and J's Legit. And then comes over to the Fall Harvest. And then this one walks over to the Legit. So it's checking out both of them. We got a deer over to the side. So we got another deer coming in. It's going to the legit. This is actually the next day at 7 in the morning. 
And we got another doe coming in, and it walks right over to the fall harvest as well. These does eat around for a while, and they're pretty much staying at the fall harvest. We got a deer coming through the next morning, and it actually walked right past both piles and didn't even stop to say hi. Um, a little later, we got two does there, and they're coming to eat right at the fall harvest. And as you can see, there's a big difference in the color between these two. That fall harvest is looking a lot like corn, and the deer in my area, and I'm sure deer all over the world, man, they just love corn. And the Big and Jays is more of a mineral or salt lick setup type deal. And as you can see with the coloration, that is very different. I feel like the fall harvest was basically just ground up corn with a little bit of molasses thrown in there to kind of throw a sweeter smell out. We got another doe coming up to the fall harvest. And as you can see, she's just wearing away on that pile. And they stay there for a while, the same two does, just kind of munching. And they leave, and that is the next night. We got two more does coming in. It doesn't look to be the same two does, but they come in and they go straight to the fall harvest and have not touched the Big and Jays legit. And they're just eating right around this pile still. Um, my camera's set to take pictures every 30 seconds, and... That's what it seems to be doing about every 30 seconds is taking another picture of those two does still just eating at this pile. Oh, we got one that walked over to take a bite out of the Big and J's legit. And then they all kind of go away for a little bit. And then they come back right to the fall harvest. They're really eating it down. And as you guys know, right here at this location, we've actually had a pretty big buck come through very, like, the past couple of weekends. I haven't seen him yet, but it is a full moon and a lot of deer going, you know, in the middle of the night or 1 a.m. Um, that buck had been coming through during shooting hours, and I just didn't get a chance to go to the stand. Life's been a little hectic recently. But... With all that being said, I will be back in the woods very soon, and hopefully we'll be able to put the smack down on a deer. Deer season's really almost over. It's almost December here. Here is a four-pointer. Um, he looks like he's trying to decide which one of these piles he wants to go to, and it looks like he ends up going to the fall harvest. But it's, life's been a little hectic for me. It's almost December now, and I still have yet to put any meat in the freezer. Um, I really thought I would have more time to go hunt this year than I have. I've got to go every other weekend, um, every so often. I get to go behind the house, but now that daylight savings has happened, I don't have really that much of a chance to go behind the house. So it's really put a damper on my hunting. Um, and then on the weekends, I'm just running errands and trying to get stuff done for my personal life. Especially with Christmas coming up, I've been doing a lot of Christmas shopping. I think I got all that taken care of. And I got some stuff that should make some pretty interesting videos this Christmas season. Here's a pretty big doe that came to the fall harvest. But I hope you guys have had a happy holidays. Thanksgiving was last Thursday, so it was great to see family and spend time with them. Got to stuff my belly with some turkey, some dressing, some mashed potatoes, some corn casserole, some squash casserole, some green bean casserole. Man, it was just some great time. That it was full of great food. I love Thanksgiving. It's actually my favorite holiday. Here we got a doe coming to the fall harvest. But with the holidays, I have been pretty busy. This doe or this deer looks really dark. I bet you it's a buck. Let's see if we can tell. No. That's just a really dark looking doe. But. She came right up to the fall harvest. She might have took a bite out of the legit. I really can't tell. She's kind of in between them there. Oh, she went straight to the legit. I mean, based off what I've seen so far, the fall harvest is winning by a landslide. Um, not very many deer have come up to the legit. And I think the main reason this does coming up is because the fall harvest is kind of 
getting on the ground. Here's another one that's legit. Here's a picture with a deer in the background. I can't really tell what it is. I can just see its back hips. And it was gone. And then the next morning, there's two does back. Oh, three does. One's at the fall harvest, one's at the big and J, and one's in the background not doing anything. But leave a comment and let me know what your favorite holiday is and uh, what you were thankful for this year and if you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, also, let me know what big plans you have for Christmas. What are you asking for? You know, What kind of outdoor gifts are you going to be uh, getting this upcoming Christmas season? I know there's something that uh, I'm making in a video real soon, and I was pretty stoked to see that they were in stores. I couldn't believe that they were out. I didn't realize they were going to be in big box stores, but I was sure happy to see them. And if you watch YouTube and you're a big YouTube supporter, I'm sure you're going to know what I was talking about or watched a video involving this certain item. But I will be making a video probably coming out on Saturday of the top 10 outdoorsman items to get in 2018 that are under or around $20. So I hope you guys will like that video. It'll be a little something different, but I think it would be a great idea generator for the upcoming Christmas season. All right, now this looks like a buck back in the background. Yeah, it's a little spike. I haven't really got any big bucks. Um, I checked the trail cameras. He's going up to the legit. I checked the trail cameras on the scrapes that we've been checking. I didn't even have much activity on them, so I don't know if maybe the deer are rutting right now or if the rut's already over around my house. I'm not entirely sure. It's just been so busy I haven't been able to keep up with it, but I'm not getting pictures of the bucks like I was, so that kind of makes me think that they are starting to slow down or it might be the post-rut, which is unfortunate, but I think the rut is actually happening in Washington County right now which is where our hunting land is, where I missed that real big eight-pointer that very well could have been the biggest deer I ever shot. Um, he would give the one I got mounted on the wall a run for his money. Here is another four-pointer that came up to the fall harvest and then just left. We got two sitting around the legit, but it looks like all the, far the, all the fall harvest is gone. Yep, and that pretty much sums it up. Here I am coming back to get this camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tally up going through this trail camera and what each of these ended up, and I'll show you guys the final scores right here in a minute. I really do appreciate you guys, though. I know I've talked a lot this video about some random things, and I hope you kind of bear with me through that as I was going through these pictures. It's just... A lot more entertaining for me if while I'm going through this I have somebody to talk to. But I'm going to go ahead and get these added up and we're going to see just which one of these products works better. Whether it's the Fall Harvest by Primo's or Big and J's legit. Alright everybody, so the results are in. And I think you guys should not be surprised. But the Primo's Fall Harvest takes the W in this face off. 17 individual deer had come up to it in the last week. Now they stayed around and they ate for a while, but I only counted 17 different deer. And then only 9 came up to the Big NJ's legit brand for this past week. So I was kind of surprised that it was that big of a difference. I mean, that's almost 10. That's 8 difference. Um, so... I mean, that's a pretty big difference in my mind, especially for it only being a week, and we only had, you know, what is that, 26 deer in total, 26 different deer that had come through in the past week. So, that's pretty surprising to me. Um, I'm sure some of those 9 and 17 are in line with each other, so it might have been, you know, about 18 different deer in total, but I saw 9 different occurrence where the deer were at each pile. But yeah... So as far as I, as far as my verdict and my, you know, super scientific, scientific experiments here at When Nature Calls, I have Fall Harvest over B&J's legit brand.
And neither one of these are sponsors. I just saw both products in a local big box store and decided, hey, let's give them a try and see which one wins. And Big and J's Legit was actually requested a good bit. So I hope you guys appreciate me answering that question of just how good is Big and J's Legit. So leave a comment of anything else you want to see me try out on the channel or any other face-offs you would like to see. I got a couple more of these to do this deer season. And then it'll be on to some more series throughout my channel. And if you have any ideas of anything you'd like to see me do, go ahead and leave that in the comments as well. But I hope you guys have a happy holidays and get some time in the woods and get some time with family. I love every single one of you. Thanks for watching, and always remember, when nature calls, you better answer. Peace.